Let's get right back into it. Zig, you had something that you wanted to say uh, from before the break. Uh, I sure did. Uh, to hitchhike on what Linda had to say, I sure completely agree about living the way you're talking about because people won't always believe everything you say, but they will always believe the example you have set for them. Mm -hmm. And when you do everything with integrity, then you can always come through in shining colors with those people. Francis Fukuyama, a Japanese scientist, uh, said about trust, and that's what we're really talking about here, yeah. that he could measure the level of progress in a nation itself by the level of trust in that nation. Mm. And certainly in corporate America and in the home same thing happened. So Linda and I are sure on the same page on that one. You know, it's interesting. Uh, the root word of integrity, if you remember high school math, integer, and an integer is a whole number. So the root word of integrity means whole. And I think that what's interesting is we talk about what you say and what you do. And if you're doing yeah. If you're saying one thing, doing another, you're not whole. You're divided. You've got these two right. parts. And that's what creates this discrepancy and, and breaks trust when they yeah. see us saying one thing, doing another. So, well, let's talk about the, the ramifications of, of having integrity. What do you get? You know, there might be people watching today saying, okay, so what do you really get when you act with integrity? What are the results of it or the benefits of it? Well, first of all, you feel good about yourself because you know, you know you've done the right thing in the right way. And so, as I mentioned earlier, that removes any guilt possibility. But it also enables you to focus on the future and not have to worry about something you've done in the past. Uh, so many times in our society today, uh, people have been taught, you know, that, well, you know, everything is relative. Mm which is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, some things are absolutely right, some things are absolutely wrong. The people at Enron, you know, they were relatively honest. <laughs> I mean, they didn't lie about everything, right. but enough to destroy a whole lot of lives. Yeah. And so you have so many benefits for doing it right. Uh, I ask in public audiences, how many of you would hire an accountant, a CPA, or a treasurer who admitted that he or she was just relatively honest? <laughs> I've never seen eighty percent of the time. <laughs> I've never seen a hand go up yet. And when I come home from an out of town trip, I guarantee you my wife has never asked me, now honey, tell me the truth. Were you relatively faithful to me <laughs> while you were gone? Uh, I don't think she ever will ask me that yeah, question either. Yeah, yeah. So now in, in your situation, what did you see as the benefits of of having integrity? What were the outcomes you saw? Well, of course I can uh I agree with everything that Zig said. I mean, you can you can sleep better at night. Uh you uh what I found is, you know, we sustained our position in the marketplace. Yeah. Uh, we uh, experienced growth because we were all unified in uh, working with integrity. Uh, and again, you, you may not experience the uh, benefits short term, but long term, uh, I can assure you that they will be there. And of course, uh, you know, I don't like to focus on the, the ramifications of not acting with integri right. integrity, but of course we see it and, and every day and hear it on the news with leaders of well-known companies that have uh, not acted in integrity and the sentencing that's coming down yeah. uh, on uh, those individuals, uh, it's just astounding. Yeah. Now, uh, was there ever a time in your career where you had uh, a specific time where it was kind of crunch time on the integrity front, where you, you, you had a hard choice that you had to make? You know, probably the best example for me uh, personally, uh, particularly in a sales organization, uh, is when it comes to individuals acting, acting uh, as integrity that are employees that uh, have appeared to be loyal for years. Uh, I had an individual that was with me for many years, a top performer, top producer, uh, produced, you know, he had a book of business about $50 million, which uh, you know, to the bottom line uh, was a significant amount, hundreds of thousands oh, yeah. of gross margin. And uh, I uh, became aware that this individual was uh, buying clients and, um, mm -hmm. and being dishonest uh, in many ways, including expenses and, and other uh, areas. Uh, well, an easy thing to do would be to, you know, uh, turn the other way and, and uh, ignore it or um, Especially with know, that much money coming uh, ex in, right? Exactly. That's the crunch. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but um, but I, I knew I had to do the right thing. 
Uh, I knew that if I wasn't consistent, again, in uh, my role as a leader and what I'm trying to create as, a, as far as the culture was concerned in the company, that I had to act on it, and I did. Uh, I uh, had to terminate the employee uh, and uh, uh, pulled the team together. And of course, short term, we did lose some revenue. But I will tell you that within months, the team pulling together, we not only replaced, but exceeded the performance of that individual. And uh, that individual has today come back mm -hmm. and uh, apologized for wow. what uh, he had done and thanked me for, uh, for providing that leadership and, and doing the right thing. See, that's uh, the amazing thing that most people don't understand. Here you were with this decision. Do I stay with the money that's there? What if we don't act with integrity? We'll lose it. But what people don't realize is, is that when you do the right thing, the outcome is such that it's never as bad as you think it's going to be, and you end up coming back and, and going further and further. And most people just don't realize that. So Sigler. 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 Inspiring true performance.